हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल इनोवेटिव केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम रेडी विद एग्रीमेंट इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ किप्स एपरेटस वर्क्स सो दिस इज आर किप्स एपरेटस दिस एपरेटस वॉज डिजाइन बाय साइंटिस्ट पी जे किप्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस एपरेटस वी कैन प्रिपेयर सम गैस जस्ट लाइक एज हाइड्रोजन गैस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस एंड hydrogen sulfide gas so today with the help of this apparatus i am going to show you how we prepare hydrogen sulfide gas in this apparatus you can see there are three sections section a section b and section c section a is connected with the thistle funnel section b is connected with a gas outlet through which we release we take out our gases and section c is used for filling the acid in this kip separators if i disconnect it and dismantle it so you can see this is the thistle funnel we can take out this thistle funnel very easily in this separators the section a is directly connected to section c with the help of this long tube now i am fixing this thistle funnel again back into the apparatus this is the connecting tube through which we take out the gas and this is also comes out very easily so this is also comes out this is the connecting portion this is the knob i can open it i can close it okay now i'm keeping it here here with me few sample of iron sulfide here in this big beaker we are having dilute sulfuric acid so this dilute sulfuric acid we introduce into the kep separators after introducing iron sulfide sticks so i am introducing iron sulfide slowly into the apparatus slowly into the apparatus i am introducing iron sulfide and you can see all iron sulfide is stick here so this is how our iron sulfide comes into the apparatus fine now after that i am fixing this connector again over here so this portion is ready now i'm taking out the thistle funnel and i introduce my sulfuric acid dilute sulfuric acid through this chamber so for this you can use funnel also and for this you can use introduce it directly so i am introducing directly this is our dilute sulfuric acid and you can see our sulfuric acid is directly going from chamber a to chamber c and will we have to fill this chamber c completely and chamber b half with the help of dilute sulfuric acid so here our acid is going always wear gloves and specs also now students you can see as i am introducing the acid the acid is stuck in this chamber and it is not not going down because of the air pressure as soon as i release this knob you can see the air which present here is going out and all the acid which present here is start going inside this is the same manner we fill all the acid so again i am introducing this acid slowly now our big uh, middle flask is filled now after that i am fixing the thistle funnel into the system to stop the excess of gas from here i am introducing few drop of <coughs> the distilled water i have filled over here so that gas will not come out through the pipe or through this portion through chamber a now i am closing the knob and you can see here enough amount of gas is preparing when gas forms solution will go down and this chamber is filled with the gas 
तो स्टूडेंट नाउ इन दिस चैम्बर आर हाइड्रोजन सल्फाइड गैस इज रेड इज मेकिंग एंड यू कैन सी द एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ एसिड इज गोइंग बैक एंड कमिंग इन टू द चैम्बर ए दिस सेपरेट इज यूज especially to save the amount of acid whatever the excess amount of acid because of the pressure of gas it automatically comes in chamber a when we take out the gas when we release the gas through the knob so whatever the amount of gas goes out the same amount of acid comes down to the chamber automatically so this is how our acid is safe let me show you the test whether h2s gas is prepared or not so for the identification of h2s gas we need to perform two tests first of all the test with lead acetate we know h2s gas turns lead acetate solution black or silvery black because of the formation of lead sulfide so if i introduce this gas into the solution of lead acetate let's see what will happen with this solution so i am just introducing the and slowly slowly i open the knob very gently slowly and as soon as gas comes you can see the lead acetate solution turns black so this black color is of lead sulfide so this is the identification of h2s gas we have to perform one another test also one more test here with me are potassium permanganate solution so i am taking potassium permanganate solution into the boiling test tube and make this solution dilute now you can see there is a pink color solution in the test tube h2s gas turns potassium permanganate solution transparent it decolorizes potassium permanganate solution so i am introducing this gas into potassium permanganate solution very slowly i am opening this knob so just see the portion in which gas dissolves gas reacts that portion is transparent if i shake this solution so that all the amount of gas dissolve into the liquid and you can see the pink color of potassium permanganate is totally disappear so this is how we represent the gas is h2s gas and this gas we use for the chemistry laboratory for different types of test this gas we use basically for the identification of lead and the identification of zinc for the basic radicals thank you very much